It's MRI Man coming back to you with another one. The MRI Podcast, where everything's about MRI. Today, we're going to be talking about Chuck Norris's wife, Gina. She said that she was uh, poisoned by an MRI contrast, a.k.a. gadolinium. So let's start off. What is gadolinium? Gadolinium, it's a chemical element. It's silvery, white. It's a rare earth metal. MRI GAD consists of atoms held together by chemical bonds. The chemical bonds are made between a gadolinium and a carrier molecule, aka the chelating agent. A chelating agent prevents tox- toxicity of the gadolinium. There's different brands of GAD, they use different chelating molecules. Um, contrast is injected into the vein and is eliminated from the body through the kidneys. And why would you need GAD? I'm gonna be calling uh, gadolinium GAD. Um, You would need GAD, aka MRI contrast, um, because it enhances the blood vessels and cancerous tumors, blood supply to some of the organs, and you would be able to tell if you have a good blood flow, you know, in an MRA, uh, exam of you know the carotids and stuff like that. Your doctor, along with radiologists and sometimes techs, will decide if you need gadolinium or gadvis or gad or this is a bunch of different names. If you had an MRI, let's let's do, let's do a scenario, okay? Say if, if uh, somebody had an MRI of the brain or the abdomen, and let's say that they saw a mass, you're gonna need gad to tell if that mass is cancerous. Um, Tumors are vascular and uh, the GAD will just make fluid bright so we'll know if that mass, if it enhances, it's cancerous. A fatty benign tumor will not enhance with GAD. Um, Before you get gadolinium, most places will ask you a few questions. Of course, if you're allergic to GAD, gadolinium, are you pregnant? Do you have high blood pressure? Are you diabetic? And if you have kidney disease, and if you answer yes to any of those questions, you're gonna get a, a, a you know, some labs done to check your GFR. And let's get into the, some side effects to uh, this MRI contrast. Some side effects can be itchy skin, rashes. Sometimes, rarely, you can get uh, difficult to, uh, difficulty breathing. And uh, from my experience if any of these things happen um you know call the doctor and usually they'll just give you some uh benadryl something like that um so it's very rarely i guess if you have like if you've had kidney disease um you're susceptible to getting this nephrogenic system fibrosis it's like a rare debilitating uh, disease that results in uh, skin contractures or localized skin thickening and tightening and it can happen it can give you organ damage so if you have uh, kidney disease you're more likely to get this Um, it's not it's very still very rare and uh, oh and so new studies are saying that uh, gadolinium uh, retention so basically they're saying that small like a one percent of each dose is getting stuck in your bones and in your brain you know so that's interesting I guess there's just not enough studies on it but you know if it's hanging around I, who knows I don't know what the long-term output is this so let's get into this uh, this whole Chuck Norris and Chuck Norris's wife thing so uh, apparently Chuck Norris is, uh, says that his wife was poisoned by the MRI contrast. Um, and there's a videos of it and I, I watched it. She said that she, uh, had horrible brain damage and she couldn't think anymore. Um, cognitive problems, uh, not being able to articulate. She had memory problems and her muscles were wasting away. And this this happened uh she had she said that she had this burning sensation after being injected uh 
each time she she went three times in one week and each time she felt that burning sensation um she, let's see um and she had month long months of uh long hospital stays and Chuck said that they spent over two million dollars on all the bills and she's getting stem cells in China it's like it's really crazy um and Chuck was really concerned saying that you know she's dying in front of his eyes you know so and Chuck was saying he feels bad for the people that don't have enough money to like recover from this problem if they had it apparently the FDA will require new warnings for MRI contrasts and we'll see we'll see what happens um from you know I really don't know I'm not a scientist I'm not a doctor you know I'm an MRI tech and we give out this contrast very often and um I've seen people have allergic reactions to it you know just itchiness and stuff like that and get you know they give them the Benadryl but you know I've never heard of anything like this, you know, you know, having these brain damage and stuff like that. This, this is crazy. You know, it's hard to, you know, believe this because, you know, doctors are always saying it's safe and there's different brands of uh, the MRI contrast. So um, hopefully they figure out what's really going on and and uh, we know what's what's the truth about it. But if you think about it, MRIs haven't been going on that long. When was, you know first MRI done in the 80s that's not a long time so how do we know what is the long-term effects and how often can you get gadolinium you know how often can you get it anything is can be too much you know you can drink too much water and die right you can take too much vitamin c and die so there's got to be a limit she went three times in a week um so you know I don't know how much they gave her and and if she felt burning the first time, and she, you know, why did she get it again? You know, I'm not choosing sides on any of this. Um, I'm optimistic about it, and it's an interesting story. And I do know that GAD also does help a lot of people in determining, you know, if they have cancer and stuff like that. And it checks, you know, you can see their arterial flow. So GAD is good. You know, we can't just blow it off, but hopefully they look more into this, investigate it. Um, it's really hard to say. It's crazy. Like, this came out of nowhere. Um, I don't know what you guys think about this, you know. Thanks for watching. I'm not going to make this super long video, but if anything new comes out, I'll come out, you know. I spent some time on this one. Um, you know, like the video, leave a comment if you want to have any more questions. I'm still trying to get to all you guys, all your questions, but, you know. It's really hard. I've been working a lot. And I'm, I'm going to try to get to all your questions. You know, leave your comments. Email me if you want. Uh, let me know what's up. i um, also thinking about doing like a live uh, broadcast where, you know, we can all chat or whatever, talk about stuff. I can answer your questions. Um, leave a comment below to let me know where you guys are tuning in from. You know, I'm in, uh, I'm in uh, Cali right now, Central Coast. Um, let me know where you guys are like watching from, you know, what kind of time zone you guys, you coming from the East coast, Midwest, where you guys at anyway. All right. Catch you guys on the next one. MRI man's out. Yeah.